Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on sum of subsets problem in backtracking. Backtracking is one of the algorithm design technique. By using this technique for a given problem, we have to find out all the solutions to the given problem. So now we are discussing one of the application of backtracking. So that problem is called as sum of subsets problem. So sum of subsets problem can be stated as follows. Suppose we are given n distinct positive integers or numbers. So these numbers are called weights. Now we have to find out all combinations of these numbers whose sum is capital M. So this is called as the sum of subsets problem. So this problem can be explained with the following example. Suppose n is equal to 6. That means we are given 6 positive numbers. So these positive numbers are called weights. So that weights are represented by weight vector W of 1 to 6. That is 5, 10, 12, 13, 15, 18. So now we have to find out all combinations of these numbers whose sum is capital M. So capital M is equal to 30. So the, for this problem, we have to find out all the solutions to the given problem. Okay. So, for this problem, for finding out the solution by using backtracking, we are using two strategies. One is fixed tuple size strategy. Second one is variable tuple size strategy. In fixed tuple size strategy, the tuple size is fixed. In variable tuple size strategy, the tuple size is varied. Okay, now we have to find out the solution for the given problem by using fixed tuple size strategy using backtracking. Okay, so for this problem, we have to find out the solution vector. So that solution vector is represented by x. x is equal to so x1 comma x2 comma x3 comma x4 comma x5 comma x6 because 6 positive numbers are there. So this solution vector can contain so 6 positives. So here each xi can be included in the solution vector or not. Okay. So each xi can contain either one value or zero value. Okay, depending upon the whether the corresponding weight is included or not. So suppose x suffix i value is equal to one. So its weight is included into the solution vector. X suffix i is equal to zero. So its weight is not considered in the solution vector. So x suffix i is equal to 1 means so its weight can be considered in the solution vector. x suffix i is equal to 0 means its weight is not considered in the solution vector. Okay. Next. So what are the solutions for the given problem? Suppose first solution, solution 1, solution 1, so x1, so x1, x1, okay, sorry, first weight we are consider, its weight is 5, so 5 is less than 30, so this weight can be considered. Next, the second weight can be added to the solution vector. So the sum of two weights is 5 plus 10 that is 15. So 15 less than or equal to 30. Next, next weight is 15. So that is x5. So after adding 
this fifth weight. So then what is the sum? 5 plus 10 plus 15. So that is 30. So the sum of the weights in the solution vector is equal to the capital M. So then this is one solution for the given problem. Next solution 2. Solution 2 is first 12 can be added to the solution vector. So 12 is less than or equal to 30. So then it can be added to the solution vector. Next, we have to add 18. So that is sixth weight. So sixth weight is added to the solution vector. So then the sum of the weights in the solution vector is 12 plus 18. So that is 30, 30 equal to 30. So this is another solution. Next, solution 3. So solution 3 is equal to, we are adding first weight to the solution vector, its weight is 5. Next, we are adding third weight that is 12. 12 is added to the solution vector. The sum of the weights is 5 plus 12 that is 17. Next, we are adding fourth weight to the solution vector. So then 5 plus 12 plus 13 that is 30 equal to 30. So then this is another solution. Next solution. Next any another solutions are there? No. So these are the three solutions for the given problem. Okay. Next. Suppose the children's of any node can be generated very easily. So for a node, suppose we can take a node for a node. So for a node. So now we have to generate the children. So the left child always value is equal to x1 is equal to 1. The right child is x1 is equal to 0. Okay. So here for a node, the children's for that node can be generated as follows. So that is for a node at level i. So the left child corresponding to x suffix i is equal to 1. Okay. The left child value always x suffix i is equal to 1. So that is this weight must be considered in the solution vector. Next right child. Right child corresponding to x suffix i is equal to 0. So this weight is not considered in the solution vector. Okay. So left child value x suffix i is equal to 1 means that weight can be considered in the solution vector. So x1 is equal to 0 is nothing but that weight is not considered in the solution vector. Next, bounding functions. So bounding functions are used to kill the live nodes. Okay, bounding functions are used to kill the live nodes. So at which place we have to kill the live node? So the sum of the weights of the solution vector plus the sum of the weight of the next, the sum, sorry. So at which place bounding functions are used? Bounding functions are used to kill live nodes. So, so this is, this condition we have to satisfy for using the bounding functions. Sigma i is equal to 1 to k wi xi plus sigma i is equal to k plus 1 to n wi greater than or equal to m. Suppose we can take the solution vector. So x is equal to x1, x2, x3 up to xk. Okay. Now we are considering the k objects. So that is sigma i is equal to 1 to k. So these k objects, k objects are added to the solution vector. Its weight is wi xi plus now i value starts from k plus 1 to n. Okay. So there are n objects are there. Among the n objects, now we are adding k objects into the solution vector. So then sigma i is equal to 1 to k wi xi plus next what are the remaining objects are there k plus 1 to n. 
sigma i is equal to k plus 1 to n w i. So, these sum of these sum of this quantity is greater than or equal to m. Now, we have to bounding function. So, this quantity is greater than or equal to m. At that time, by using the bounding functions, we kill that node. Okay. Next. So, sigma i is equal to 1 to k w i x i. Sum of the weights of the k objects in the solution vector plus weight of the k plus 1th object is less than or equal to capital M. Now, we have to, we have to consider this node because the sum of the weight of the k objects plus k plus 1th object is less than or equal to capital M. Okay. Here, we have to kill this node. Here, we do not kill that node. So, this node can be added to the solution vector because the sum of the weights of weights in the solution vector is less than or equal to M. Next, the state space tree for the given problem can be drawn by using this technique. So, in this technique, sigma wi xi, okay, sigma wi xi is nothing but weight vector. So, weight vector, sum of the weights in the weight vector. Suppose, n is equal to 5, so w of 1 to 5. So, these 5 objects are placed, so the placed into the solution vector. So, what is the sum? Sigma wi xi comma k. k is nothing but weight number in w of 1 to 6, 1 to n. Next, sigma wi is nothing but sum of the weights of the all the n objects. Okay. So, here left hand side, so x sub x k is equal to 1. Right hand side, x sub x k is equal to 0. So, here if x sub x k is equal to 1, sigma wi xi plus wk comma k plus 1 comma sigma wi minus wk. Okay. So, this kth object is added to the sigma wi xi comma here this is k value. Next, next k value is k plus 1. Next, what are the object is considered that object weight is subtracted from sigma w i. Next, here the right child is denotes x sub x k is equal to 0. So, here sigma w i x i. Now, we do not consider this object. So, sigma w i x i is the same as sigma w i x i comma k plus 1 comma sigma w i minus w k. Okay. So, by using this technique, we have to draw the state space tree and we have to find out all the solutions for the given problem 